G'day guys, how's it going? Look what turned up here in Benigo, Victoria, Australia. Elliot Brothers has uh, lent this to me to do a bit of a review on. So this is the Honda Trans Alp uh, XL750. They brought this out in uh, the UK and it's only just started filtering into Australia. How much is this? I tell you what, it's one of the bloody best things about it. It's only $15,852 right away. That's it. So this is, it looks very, it looks like an adventure bike. Oh, I think it's more on the roadside bias. But you know what I like to do? I want to see how capable it is off-road. Okay, let me bloody just run through some of the basic stats of this bike. So the engine is a liquid-cooled OHC four-stroke eight-valve parallel twin with 270 crank and unicam. So this is a 755cc. It's got six-speed manual transmission. The seat height on it is a pretty respectable 850 millimeters. Ground clearance, 210 millimeters. The fuel capacity is 16.9 liters. It's curb weight was 208 kilograms. Front suspension is Showa 43 millimeter with 200 millimeter travel. Rear suspension is uh, separate pressure ProLink swing arm, 190 millimeter travel. Your front tire is a 21 inch and your rear tire is an 18 inch. Now the front brakes have dual discs on them, 310 millimeter with uh, axial mount two piston calipers. The rear brakes are a single 256 millimeter, six millimeter disc with single piston caliper. And this thing comes with two years warranty. Can't be bloody uh, unhappy about that. So let me just move this around. I'm gonna hop on it now. I'm six foot and then I'm gonna get Nays gonna hop on it just for the shorter people so you can get a bit of a feel. I might just move, the, oh, actually, hang on. Right, so remembering I'm six foot tall. I have no problem whatsoever. I'm flat footed, knees are bent. This feels really stable. Now as for, you know, yeah, it's a heavy bike, it's 208 kilograms, but it's not like overly top heavy or anything like that. So let's just give, now there's a gradient here so it goes up that way. I'm just gonna manhandle this bike around and the bloody grounds <laughs> actually uh, quite soggy which makes it a little extra harder but as you can see moving this bike around don't have a problem at all <laughs> what i'll do is i'll set that up set this up for nay right eh? nay jump on that bike sure Yep, so Nay is five, what What are you? Five, five, six. Five, six. And there you go, so you are just tippy toed there. Oh, yep, literally tippy toed. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And for you, that feels top heavy, obviously. It feels very top heavy compared to any of the others that I've sat on. Yep. For me. Yeah. Yeah. But that, and that's, that's, that's got to be a short thing because for me it doesn't feel that way. All right, hey, let's I try it. I don't have a problem doing that. Yeah. But this time it feels, feels? Like it's taken a lot of work. To oh, okay. When I try and go sideways. Yeah. Standing up is all right, obviously, but, but yeah, it's when I try and go flat, oh, which I can't because I'm scared I'll drop it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that normally. Yep. So. All right, we'll try the uh, the double up. Righty, a if you jump off, the advantage of long legs <laughs> makes life so much bloody easier. Right, I jump on. Oh, haven't got a peg. Oh, sorry. Yep. So there you go. You've got so much room; it's insane. Yeah. Yeah, like if I'm sitting back to the back of the seat, we could put I don't know. A small child. A large child. Like another one. So then, if me. you scoot forward, and if I scoot as far forward, or, or just onto your seat. <laughs> all right. So this is where it's yeah. So then, what oh, is yeah. it? Oh, so you got yeah, plenty of room for a big bag at the back. Oh, heaps. 
stacks of room. All right. So we may get this bike again at a later date, and maybe we'll do what we've done with the double up riding, because I'd be interested to see how this one goes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right, eh? Dism dismount. Dismount. <laughs> you dismount. <laughs> Right, hey guys, well I think that's uh, pretty much it. I'll get geared up and head it out and do all the tests in the proving ground through the twisties, bit of a quick highway test, um, see how it goes. Righty, hey guys, here we go. So let's turn this bloody thing on. There it is, the trans out, boom. We are in standard mode. Start him up. Sounds good. Um, so just take it, yeah, take a note of that. Let's go. Um, so I already kind of like did the balance test when I came back and I got an A to film it. So I didn't, going along the front there and then down the side, I'd kind of like play a game that, uh, yeah, I can't put my feet down. And I had no problem whatsoever uh, doing that on this bike. We'll let that truck go, eh? What do you reckon? There's a lot of chickens in that. Like, I'm in a 60 zone here. I, you can just tell. This thing has got that much grain. What is it, like 90 horsepower or something? You know, I'm used to riding a DR650, and it's got more power than I can bloody use in the off-road sense, you know, when you're off-road. I'm never looking for more power when I'm riding Max, the DR650. On the road, obviously, you know, it's, it's fine, but there are times when you'd want a little bit more. And this has got it, and a whole lot bloody more, I can tell you. Right, the gear changes are smooth as the throttle response and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, really, really good. Once we get on the other road, the twisties and that, I'll talk about um, you know, the changing of bloody... So we're in standard. I'm going to go to rain, gravel. And once it stops flashing, that means... Oh, random guy. Right, eh? <laughs> there you go, mate. Righto, so we're into the uh, proving ground. Brakes, brilliant. We'll avoid all the bloody shit. Standing up, like raising me ass. Slow turnaround. Oh, that felt like it wasn't quite like a lull there. That was interesting. So gravel. I wonder if that makes a difference. Yeah, it doesn't feel, you know, overly torquey down low. Until you get it up into that high rev, whoa, that's uh, rather slippery. I'm gonna have to wash this bike. Whoa, man, that is slippery. <laughs> that's crazy slippery. Why is it when I get a good bike, it's bloody rained overnight? This is a little jumperoo. Nice. Obviously, this is uh, not my bike, so as per usual, when people lend me their bikes or I'm doing a review, where it's always uh, be being very careful. You have quite a bit of clay in this area, so she gets real slippery. But look, you know, I'm, I never thought that th this would have a problem coming through here. I'll avoid... Whoa, that slipped out. Bloody hell, hang on, that threw me thing down. Yeah, cool. So, and you've got to remember too, I've got road tyres on. So they're not going to be that bad, or not, not that good, um, in the dirt. Whoop, big rock there, look out. So I put a you know, decent set of bloody tyres on this thing. No problem. Go through some of these wishy-washies. No problem. 
brilliant. Up and over. So even though that slipped out, I was able to pull that, dab my foot down um, and stop that bike from, from going down, which is, uh, which is great. <laughs> Cool, so let's just uh, zip around here. Yeah, so I reckon that'll be its downfall with the off-road, is in the real slow bits. I don't know whether, so I'm in gravel. Oh, I know what happened. I know why it lulled. The bloody traction control. That's why it's cutting in and out. So I'd have to turn that off. Because it's so slippery here, that back wheel's just... As soon as it gets a little power, it just churns it up. I don't know how to do take the traction control. That's one really good thing that I'll show you when I get back. The uh, you can change the modes. Whoa! While um, while going along, and when you turn the bike off and turn it back on, it will be in that. Um, it will keep. It will hold that uh, what you were last in, and visually. It's showing you how much power you got, how much engine braking, your traction, your ABS. It has a visual of that, which I, th I, I think is uh, pretty good. I like that, uh, that idea. Oh, all right, I just, whoop, ah. Definitely gonna have to wash the bike before I take it back. Yeah, I'd like to, I can see that uh, ABS is flashing up. Traction, traction, yeah. Right, I say, what's user sport? Sport's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yep, sport's crazy. Wow, that sits you back in your bloody seat. That's for sure. So then uh, change it to standard. Now, if you've got your throttle on and you change it, you have to let the throttle off. It'll flash. And um, until you let the throttle off, then it sets into its new mode. But that's really good. We'll go up and do the twisties, then we'll do a little bit more uh, off-road stuff. Bloody hell, I'm already, I'm in fourth gear. There's fifth, there's sixth. Crikey's. This, this just, it's just humming. It's crazy. Back down to fifth. So we are in standard mode. This just glides. Look at that, that's effortless. That is smooth as butter. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool for a 21 inch. That is nice. So we're going to swap to rain, gravel, user, sport. Now see it's flashing when I let off the throttle. Then it says, right, now we're in sport. <laughs> cool. Right, eh? Bring it up. Look at that. Cool. There's something to be said about good brakes. Like, yeah, that's nice. Man, Pat, 
I can't get over how this thing goes around the corners. Look at that, smooth, far out. Wow, this has got to be the best adventure bike. Well, is it an adventure bike? Is that what they're classing it as? But it's, it's an adventure bike, but it's road biased. I reckon that's the best one. that I've done around the twisties. That was smooth as. Right, this is always a ship. We've got to use our mirror up there. Always do a double check. Mirror, nothing coming, let's go. Yeah, it gets up and boogies, that's for sure. That braking is sensational. I suppose this is what guys, when they you know, jump on bikes and they say, oh, the, the brakes are shit and all that. They've been on bikes like this, where the brakes are absolutely brilliant. Um, so then they get on one that's, yeah, the brakes are okay. It's like I always say, the brakes pull you up, but I, yeah, you really can tell a difference. So I suppose when you go to those bikes that the brakes aren't fan, you know, they're great, they're good. They do the job, but after being on a bike like this, with those brakes, you go, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're shit. <laughs> Righto, cue the music. Screen, you know, buffeting. Yeah, you know, I have this up, so um, I think it's fine. If I was to, if I was a little bit shorter, you would have bugger all. Actually, it'd be perfect. But being six foot tall, um, obviously, I sit a little high, and I just do get a little bit. Oh, now I just want to keep riding. Not so. <laughs> I've been turning that throttle, you know, just a little bit. But if you when you whack it around, I not it's it's it has only done like 30 k's on it, so I don't want to you know do anything stupid because it's still being run in. Although these these days, bloody bikes are pretty good. Um, so I just want to I want to just give it a good go. What are we in? Third, second, first. All right, I pull my bloody pants down. If you're jumping on this bike and you're going, I wish it had a few more horsepowers, or I don't know. <laughs> I think you're full of shit. Or you're a race rider or something like that, I don't know. Um, yeah, so the only thing I think I want to do a little bit, I try and get this traction control shit worked out, get back in the dirt, and just see if that makes a difference. I would have thought being in, um, so not standard, rain, gravel let off so we got like half power full engine braking oh there's a lot of traction and half abs so i would say gravel would be 
uh, ABS off the back, but it would be still on the front. But there's still a lot of traction. So what do we go through? User is full traction. Oh, sport is not much, but full ABS. Yeah, all right. Cool, let it off, boom. So it might have to be in sport mode, I think, when I get in there. Because obviously you've got your user where you can set it all, but I haven't had the bike long enough to freaking work out how to do it. Right, hey guys, I've got it in sport. We'll just see how that uh, fares to the old traction, because that's the least amount of traction. I believe it has a wheelie, uh, someone, I've watched bloody uh, a video and they said it's got a wheelie stopper or a built into or something like that. I think you can obviously turn it off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sports mode's way better. It's not lulling out, which was the traction control, so that's good, yeah. Oppa! Yep. Yay! There we go. Make sure. No bloody problem. Yep. So obviously this isn't a bike that you're going to want to take into real gnarly spots, but this is capable, off-road capable, no problem whatsoever. It's got the clearance. It's not, you know, the best clearance, but it's still got heaps of clearance. The suspension, I can find you've got, you know, plenty of travel. No problem. Well, we'll just bloody take that easy. I'd have no problem taking this, uh, you know, using this as a you know proper adventure off-road bike for sure. I think it's nimble, light enough. Um, yeah, you know, so I would say that uh, if you were more road biased, but you, you know you wanted to go and do some uh, yeah you know, off-road stuff, and you don't have to stick to the fire trails or you know just dirt roads. Well, it's a lot of rock, isn't it? Um, you could take this on tracks, no problem whatsoever. Uh, we might avoid that one. Just in case. Oh, look at this bloody slippery shit. Cool. Yeah, so I don't know. Even at the low speed, with that, it was a, it was the traction that was causing me the issue with the low down stuff. I can't see that, uh, I've just got to try and do a bit of a test on that. Hang on, we'll go down where it gets a little bit shittier. Um, how can I test this without trying to go up some gnarly bloody, uh, haven't put my foot down yet. Yeah, I'm feathering the, the clutch there. Traction control coming in and out. So, no, I think this would be alright, even in the tighter stuff, if you know what I mean. Yeah, when you're in first gear and you're trying to get up here and whatever, a little bit of feathering of the clutch, and um, yeah, you're all good. Watch out for the slodgies, not your bike, Mark. You break it, you got to pay for it. <laughs> so 
it standing up. Um, obviously for me being six foot, uh, most probably bar rises just to get me up a little bit. Holy shit balls. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit gnarly. That's all right. We'll go down. Nice and steady. Let the bike just go straight down. Boom. That's, look at that. If you ask me, this is bloody uh, off-road capable 100%. Righto guys, so I, look, I can't, I'm not going to take this bike any gnarlier than that because it ain't mine. I'm not risking, you know, dropping it. But that, to, for me, that proves it. This bike is off-road capable. Throw some bloody, it has all the crash bars, the, you can get all the, you know, the hand bloody shit. Oh, we've got a dog and a person. Right, I'll see you guys back. Um, at the man cave and I might just do a quick run through that uh, little doobie let's hang on there you go mate there will always be uh, <coughs> nice around people god people are everywhere around today what is it it's a Friday man this thing's just soaking up all this shit There you go. Like at no point am I going, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, this is getting me out of my comfort zone or anything like that. And I'm doing this in sports mode. I haven't really, you know, done all the settings to, to match, best match what I would expect uh, to have it in while off-road. There you go, nuts. Right, eight, back to the man cave. Well, there you go, guys. That's the uh, the Honda XL750 Trans Alp here in bloody Australia. Um, I reckon it's bloody fantastic. It is more than uh, off-road capable, as you saw. Um, I would definitely buy one of these. Uh, would own one and would ride one. I'd get a. I'd get it in the in the black. <laughs> oh wait, I love black bikes. Uh, chuck some crash bars on it. Bark busters. Um, bash plate, maybe you know, some luggage system to go on the back there. And um, you could take this off road, you can chew up the Australian bloody uh, highways to get to the cool places on this, no worries. The wind, it, was, it's, it actually protects you, it was really cool. Being six foot tall, the, uh, what do you call it, the screen could possibly you know, be a little bit bigger. That is unmovable, I believe. I won't show you through all the modes. You must probably seen it. It's pretty cool. You can change the colors of the background so you can have a black background and different, all that kind of, does all that shit. That type of stuff doesn't really, as long as I can change modes really simply and when I turn the bike off, if I start it back up, it doesn't lose its memory and all that. And it does all that. So um, I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Right, oh, I better get this bloody, uh, give it a clean up and uh, take it back. So a big thank you to the guys at Elliott Brothers. If you want to test ride this bike here in Bendigo, go to Elliott Brothers. Uh, you'll speak to Peter, he's the salesman there. This is going to be a demo bike for the next 60 days. After that, they'll be selling it. Bloody ripper. Righto, guys, remember, keep on riding. And if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.